It is not fully understood why earthworms come up to the surface when it rains, though there are a few theories. The theory with the most evidence is that earthworms find it easier to move across the soil surface when it is wet, to find food, new habitats, or a mate. When the rain hits the ground it creates vibrations on the soil surface. This causes earthworms to come out of their burrows to the surface. Earthworms find it easier to travel across the surface of the soil when it is wet, as they need a moist environment to survive. Birds exploit this behavior by mimicking rain hitting the ground by drumming their feet to encourage the earthworms to the surface to feed on them. Another theory is that oxygen from air or water passes directly from their outer cuticle into their blood vessels. Normally, soil has a mix of air and water, about 50% of the pore space in soil is air, the rest is water. But after rain, the soil pours and the worm burrows fill with water. Oxygen diffuses about a thousand times slower through water than through air. So basically the worms can't get enough oxygen when the soil is flooded, so they come to the surface to breathe. If they don't, they drown. But you may ask why don't worms just slither back underground when the soil dries out? This is less clear. Once at the surface, they seem to get confused about where their burrows are. It may be that cars, lights and people disorient them. They move to seek safety, but sometimes they don't make it back into the soil when the burrows drain, and it looks to us as if they are committing squirmy suicide. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on amazing facts about Mako sharks. Thanks for watching and bye for now.